for those 10 seconds, how do you feel? It felt great. It felt like I was on top of the world. <laughs> Give her the beams! Are you ready for Sunday? Hell yeah! Just when we thought we were done, he was backing out. There's a big oil stain. And now he said, holy sh there's oh, oil everywhere. Sorry. Kelvin Ariol in the CX Racing FCRX7. Ooh, Kelvin. It's exploding up front bumper. As it says on his windshield, dang. Uh oh. Is that from the Corolla? Yeah, this is the cylinder head. Got some valves. Are you recording or? Yeah. I'm always recording. Okay. Here, bring it. Let's see. So okay. that's probably why it sounded like there was no compression because it was getting sparked. Good job. Yeah. Josh asked how you use that. Comment down below. Okay, so his timing belt snapped on his car. It's all this is always like overlooked maintenance, like just change your timing belt. He put his engine back together wrong and I don't think he bent valves, so he pulled off the head for nothing. But let's let's check. Okay, I mean, it would be very obvious if he did bend a valve. Because they wouldn't seat. But you said you filled these up with oil and two of them seeped out? Yeah, so this one. This one? And this I marked one. them, the yellow ones. Okay. And they leak out through the exhaust side. Yeah, this one and that one. So anyways, regardless, his valves are leaking. They're not seating, so... While he has this whole thing off, we're just going to take off all the valves and then we're gonna seat them with this tool, this cool looking tool and this cool gritty toothpaste. I poke some holes into that cardboard while I knock these suckers out. You probably ask, how do you get the retainers out? Well. Two retainers. Okay. Well, I just lost one retainer. Then we're gonna pretty much do that for all of them, right? So this is, yeah, this is the easy part. Taking it off. Putting it on, I'll show you some tricks. Here, put your organization thing here so we can show everyone how you made too many holes. <laughs> While I'm pulling out the valves, I'm gonna check for play, right? <clears throat> Front engine, rear engine. This is the rear. Five, I'm about to lose them. Jer's gonna wire wheel all of these just to knock off all the carbon because we're already here, right? Might as well just clean it up. And then we'll get to valve lapping. All right, so while you're spinning into the drill, did any of them look wobbly? No, they're okay. all pretty good actually. Okay, so I'm gonna say you don't have any bend valves. This is the part that you're gonna have fun. You're going to lap the valves. All right. Okay, <laughs> intake, we'll do intake one. Or I'll do intake one. Lifetime warranty. Is it lifetime warranty? I don't know, it's close. We're gonna get our valve lapping compound gritty grease right you see it's all metallic yeah right there we go a little metallic so what i'm gonna do is just drop a little right there can you hear it yeah it sounds gritty so what it's doing it's sanding down the seat so it fits the valve perfectly make sense yeah do one of those and you're gonna probably ask how do you know when you're done i don't know you just go for a while apparently I'm looking at videos, it says when, when it gets quiet. 
Yeah, because you grind it down all the surface. Yeah. Okay, so the last thing you want to do also is not get valve lapping compound on this shaft, right? Because you're going to oh, okay. wear out the seat. So I'll let you figure that out and we're going to time lapse. How many you do so far? Four. That's it? is going to clean the head. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Intake one. This is the exhaust side so intake one will go here exhaust literally jumps over here okay you got all those in place okay so this is what we're gonna do we're gonna grab these rags right and we're gonna shove it here and then when we put this down it's going to keep the valves from dropping, right? So yeah, just, so number four, right? So yeah, while the valves in place, it doesn't matter. So I'm going to do the first one and then you can do the rest of them. This was intake, right? Yeah. Okay, so this is exhaust and then we have a retainer here. These are a little tighter than go-kart springs. My thumbs hurt, okay. The next trick is dropping it and getting this one in, right? Yeah, the skinny taper. side down, the taper okay. down. <sighs> go. Okay. There we go. Nice. That's it. So now we got to do that for all of them. It's even worse when you change it in the car. Go ahead, put one in because uh, you gotta have a leak down tester, right? To keep the valves up. Uh, but if you drop the valve while it's in the car. Yeah. Yeah. Now that young Jer and me have placed all the valve springs back, when are you gonna slap this thing on? Uh, probably tomorrow. Make sure it's in time. Yeah. Make sure it's not 180'd off. And then start her up. Why does this car look so shitty? What's up? You're a dingus. Yeah. <laughs> All right, we're gonna do his timing because he doesn't know how to time a car. That's why he got fired from BMW. First and foremost, your oil pressure is hooked up right behind here. This is your oil pressure. So it's not you even hooked up. Ripped off it. No, there's a plug. There's a plug right behind that. That or I just pulled it off, but there's a plug. What is this, a Zenki or Koki? Zenki, right? So I don't think Zenki has a diagnostic connector. Or this is the diagnostic connector. Yeah, I don't know. I'm thinking it's this one. I have yeah, to jump. Those. I don't know. I'm gonna say it's this one. All right. So I got these. Or turn on the ignition and the check engine light should blink. How many times is it blinking? One. So you don't have any codes. Perfect. Start it up. Oh yeah, son. Yeah. Is that gonna pass? Cool. 
What is that, a 12 or 13? It's actually idling pretty good. Hook up your oil pressure gauge? No. No, where does it go? Hook up your oil pressure gauge. Comment down below if you know where this goes. What right, happened to so your car originally? Driving, driving home from work. Uh, timing belt snapped. Okay. Put put a new timing belt, water pump. I get. I guess it wasn't starting. <laughs> Why? Because the timing was off. Okay. But no, actually, you know what? Originally, the fucking cam gears, 180. Okay, yeah. so more or less this guy can't get his car started. I'm like, it's probably a bent valve. It probably wasn't a bent valve, but he had leaky valves anyway. So we lapped his valves, which you just saw earlier. And now he couldn't get it started earlier, but as you saw, I guess uh, his distributor timing was off. But now we're on. Now we're on, now we're locked in. We're freaking good to go, RTR. We should go uh, test drive this thing. What's up, people? Yeah, last time you drifted was like four years ago. Yeah, was it four years ago? It was probably like four years ago. Yeah. Because yeah. COVID was like two years. So like, yeah, four years ago. All right, let's go. All right. I, thought, I thought Corolla drivers are fucking shitty poor and fucking... Yeah, but metal. Corolla drivers at least have... Man, look at this guy's fucking... Look how oh, yeah, he reads his thing. <laughs> Dude. we thought we were done he was backing out there's a big oil stain and now he said holy shit there's oil everywhere where the fuck i mean you floored it maybe you got a lot of blow by and shit popped off but yes you need a cap can what the heck is going on here you got oil everywhere did it shoot out a dipstick it looks like it shot out take out the oil cap take out the oil cap right now Watch your timing belt. Now that's the stupidest oil cap. You should have left the OEM oil cap. Came with this. <laughs> crankcase pressure. Crankcase ventilation. So you got a lot of blow by there. I feel a lot of pressure. We should feel vacuum. So what you need to do is hook up a cap can. Make a cap can. Get this thing out of here. Freaking made a big mess on my driveway. Thank <laughs> you. 